Hello there, how are you doing? Joe Barnes here from Online Marketing Addicts. You may know me from the Social Networking Academy. Well, I am here to walk you through how to create a lead generating page post ad. Now, we all know that the landscape on Facebook has changed quite dramatically over the past few months and that now around 10% of our fans are actually seeing what we post on the page. Now, 10% is still 10%. But we want to get to the other 90% and not only the other 90% of our fans, but we also want to get out there into Facebook and start targeting the fans and the customers of our competitors stroke complementary niches that our target market are going to be visiting. And Facebook is the place to do that. It is without doubt the most powerful marketing platform in the world. It is the biggest personalized database ever built and it's right here at our fingertips. Anyway, I am not going to bang on about the merits of Facebook. I'm sure you are watching this video because you already understand that and now you just want to know how to actually do it. So let's crack straight on and create a lead generating page post ad. Now what do I mean by lead generating? I mean that the ad is actually, or the post rather, is actually going to encourage people to leave their name and email address. So for instance, I have posted this contest this morning. Okay, it's win one of five guru post planner packages and what happens when people click on this link is they have to go through and verify that they're entering and at that point their name and email address gets added to my autoresponder. So it doesn't just have to be a landing page, a squeeze page where they leave their name and email address in order to get a free report. It could be a contest, it might be a webinar, it might be an app you've built. It doesn't matter what it is as long as its sole purpose is to collect names and email email addresses. That is what I mean by lead generating post ad. Okay. So what I'm going to do is click on this little down arrow up here in the top right hand side. I'm going to go to manage ads. Okay. And now uh, we're going to come over here to our Facebook ad manager. Now, if you have not yet set up an ad account, then you're obviously going to need to go and do that. So follow the instructions on the page. It's super, super easy. Once you set up your ad account, what I want you to do is access it. We actually use my partner's ad account, as you can see me clicking into that here. Um, what I want you to do is access your ad account and then click over here on the left hand side and click power editor. OK, now I use the power editor quite simply because it is absolutely 10 times more flexible and easy to use in the basic Facebook ad manager. Uh, so we're going to be using the power editor. I urge you do as well. It's a super, super powerful tool, hence the name. Um, and it's very, very easy to use. So we come in here. And the first thing I'm going to do, I come over to campaigns. I want to create my campaign um, and it is a contest. So I'm going to call it my post planner contest. OK, now the objective, because it's a lead generating ad, we're always going to want to click on website conversions because we're going to want to see actually who has clicked through and landed on our thank you page and has actually left us their details. Therefore, they are a bona fide lead. So we're going to click on website conversions and then click on create. So that's your overall campaign. You can now go and set up as many ad sets and ads within that campaign as you like, but that's your content test campaign. So our next job is to create an ad set. Okay, so click on ad set and then click on this little plus button and you're going to click on the campaign that you want to use, which is our post planner contest and then enter an ad set name. Now, this is normally your audience. Okay, so basically what you do is at this point you decide who you're going to be targeting with your advertising and then when we go and create ads, you can create multiple ads with different headlines, different images, different copy. So when you go and you target that audience, you can see which ads are going to convert the best within that audience. So your ad set is essentially your audience group. Now this is for post planner um, plans and post planner is a, a Facebook scheduling tool. So we're going to want to target an audience that's interested in Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to call this all Facebook. That's going to be my ad set name and I'm going to target all the people that like all Facebook and then I'm going to click on create. So that's now my ad set created and then from down here I can choose my budget. I'm going to leave that at 10 bucks for now and I can decide whether I want it to start straight away and just carry on running or I can actually set dates and times of exactly when I want it to run so I can set it, I can actually schedule it to go out at a different time. 
And then we click on ads and we can now begin to create our ad that's going to sit within the ad set. So we click on the plus button again. We find our campaign. We have our ad set. We simply click our create our ad name. It's only for our reference. So let's say you were going to do five ads in each campaign. Then you might call this all Facebook one. Yeah, 001 or something. It's just for your reference. It's really, really not important. And then your uh, objective is already set for you. So you're simply going to come down here, click on the page that your post is on. So I'm going to go to Online Marketing Addicts and it's going to bring up my post. And there is my post, my win one of five Guru Post Planner packages. You can see it there. I'm happy with that. Um, you can decide from here whether you want it on the right hand side or whether you just want it on the desktop newsfeed. OK, and you can decide that down here in, in placement. I'll probably just go for newsfeed for now. OK, um, and because we're doing website conversion, OK, then we are going to need a tracking pixel. This is actually much easier than it sounds. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But for now, I just want to go through the rest of this section here. So I'm going to click on audience. OK, and what I'm going to do is come down here to interests and type in all Facebook. And that's going to bring up all Facebook dot com there um, and it's going to tell me how big my potential audience is now there's only 34,000 people that's because I'm only targeting the UK at the moment so you're going to want to come back up here and start putting in all the different uh, countries states cities whatever that you want to target with your ad obviously depending on whether your business is a global business or a local business or whatever it is, you will know your target areas. So we'll put in here, you know, all of the people that we're going to target. So let's just say that we're going to go for the UK, United States and, and Australia. Um, we could put in here at age. So let's say we're going to go for 25 upwards. Um, we can decide whether we want men and women. Um, we can obviously put in our language there. We can put in more demographics if we want to. You know, you'll go through and you'll kind of add all the bits in here that you want to. Uh, a lot of it I ignore. Behaviours, categories, connections I tend not to use very often. Although connections is how you are going to uh, specifically, specifically get the fans of your page. So all you'd need to do is come in here and put your page name down there and then obviously it's going to start to show to people who are connected to your page. OK, and then we come over here to optimization and pricing and I tend to go with optimized CPM. That's what I've had the best results with so far. Obviously, you need to test and measure this yourself. All right, now we can come down here to create new pixel, but I actually just want to show you where it is. If we come up here to manage ads and then click on conversion tracking, this is where all of your conversion pixels will show once you've created them. OK, so if we then click on the create pixel button up here, then we can call it whatever we want to call it. So I'm going to call it post planner contest leads. OK, and then I'm going to go for leads and then just click on create pixel. And then that's going to give you this little piece of code here. So we're just going to grab that piece of code. Now, this is actually super, super easy to install, especially if you use WordPress. OK, if you don't use WordPress and you're using some other um, website platform, if you're great with coding, happy days. If not, then do please just go and ask a programmer or a coder and they'll show you what to do. Um, but this is uh, my congratulations. You've entered the contest. All I have to do is come over here, come to the back end of the uh, page. I'm actually in the text box where I have created this uh, this page here. OK, and then I'm simply going to go to the bottom of the text box and put in that code. And that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to click update. And then my tracking code is going to be installed on that page and we are going to be ready to select that pixel and go. All right. So I'm just going to refresh this page as well because Facebook will activate it once it um, feels that somebody has actually landed on the page with the pixel on it. So we'll now, now go back here. We will turn that off. Before we go back to our ad, though, look, it's just popped up. There it is. And it's active and it's active because I've installed the code and I've landed on the page. OK, so, so you have to land on that page for it to register that, uh, that it's active. All right. So now we just go back to our page and we go back to creative. Come down here, click on select pixels, 
grab your post planner pixel, click select and away you go. Your ad is ready to go. All you have to do now is click on upload changes and there goes your ad. And that's it. There it is. It's done. Your ad is uploaded. That is how you create a lead generating page post ad. All we're going to do now is wait for Facebook to come back and to approve us. And Bob's your uncle. Now, I know I just went through that super fast, so I have a fantastic free gift for you today. Um, this is my ebook, my brand new ebook, Facebook's Power Editor for Beginners. This is a very detailed guide on everything you need to know about using the Power Editor and Facebook ads. So it's going to take you all the way through from accessing the Power Editor understanding all of the different ad tools that are available to you, creating campaigns and adverts, understanding the whole campaign structure with ad sets, etc. Going through all the different objectives and what they mean, the different types of ads that you should be doing for the results that you want to achieve, setting up your ads, looking at custom audiences, retargeting, how to manage and analyze your ads, um, you know, using the image library, everything, literally every single thing you need to know about using the Power Editor laid out for you graphically so that you can follow along uh, step by step very easy to use, very easy to follow. So couple this with my three videos on my blog, how to create your lead generating page post ad, how to find your ideal market, and how to create and upload custom audiences and understanding, understand retargeting, then everything you need to become a complete Facebook advertising master is here at online marketing addicts. So it's very easy to grab this free ebook. Just click the link below this video, or if you're watching this on the blog, then um, there's a form underneath this video. Follow the instructions, a couple of clicks, and this free ebook is completely and utterly yours to use and abuse as you like. Um, and if, of course, there's anybody else that you feel would be find this information valuable, feel free to share this page, this video, this information, um, and also comment below. Let me know your feedback. I'm here to help. Any questions? at all, um, then please ask away. In the meantime, go and grab this free ebook. It is 75 pages of pure gold. Um, and uh, I look forward to helping you to build your business. Thank you very much for listening. And I will speak to you again very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.